What's going on guys? Jacob Orth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas. Coming to you guys on this beautiful sunset evening here. I'm actually in uh, Summerlin right now. Downtown Summerlin, weather's great. It's a little windy, but the temperature's awesome. Weather's great. And I was trying to give you guys a view of the strip, but man, it's pretty hazy. So it's kind of tough to even see, but don't worry, it's back there. And don't worry because I got a heck of a video today filled with plenty of tips to help you guys when you're coming here to Las Vegas. You guys want to come to the strip downtown and that kind of thing. Heck, even if you want to come off the strip, stuff that's going to help you save money, get cash back, get you discounts, all that kind of stuff from planning your trip to when you're here on your trip. So definitely hit the thumbs up button on this video because this one is absolutely going to earn it plus several bonuses in this one for you. So I'm gonna talk about 10 ways that you can come here and do Las Vegas on a budget. You can do it on the cheap. You can you know, look like a high roller while you're a low roller, whatever the case is, however you wanna determine it, however you wanna put it. But let's jump into the first one, okay? And this is the first one here that when you're coming here to Las Vegas, you know, the simplest thing you can do is when you're looking for a place to stay, is just to stay at a cheaper property, right? So that means, you know, not looking at like the Wynn or, you know, Aria or things like that. You're going to be looking more so like the Flamingo, which is a good spot in the center of the strip. Could be a good bank for your buck as someone's car alarm is going off. Uh, some people like to do the Excalibur over, which is more towards the south end of the strip. Something that will just do the trick for you, right? Some people even prefer the Travel Lodge, although I did do a video about like the sketchiest places to stay in Las Vegas and both Travel Lodge locations made it on there. Just FYI, just because the reviews they had. Now, the second thing you want to do is doing price comparison, okay? Because pretty much all properties, uh, with the very least, they will price match a lower offer. So if you find a better deal looking at, you know, Tropicana or something like that, they're going to match that price. And there are also places what they will do is they will um, not only price match, but they even give you a discount or they'll price match and they'll in, uh, upgrade your room if you actually find something that beats the hotel price. Now, you also want to keep in mind and know how close to the date you can cancel because one thing you can do is you can book your room and then sometimes they may give you up until you know 48 hours before your um, reservation date 72 hours something like that maybe four days um, where they'll say hey if you you know you can cancel up to this point and get a full refund so say you book your trip a month in advance you make your reservation you can check you know with the, within that time frame if you see a cheaper price for the same room that you have already made your reservation cancel your reservation and just rebook it and you get a cheaper room that way now I'll throw a bonus to you guys here in this one is this is totally free. There's actually a really good plugin you can use called Honey that goes onto your browser. I'll put the link down below in the, in the description on the top of the comments. I'll put it in there. And what Honey does is it automatically searches for deals, discounts, and coupons when you're shopping. So I actually use it recently. I just saved 20 bucks on a last minute flight to California a week ago. Um, I've tested with Hotels.com. It even works when you're checking out on Amazon. If they find a coupon, they find a discount, it'll notify you in the corner. And when you're checking out, you know, shopping online for just about anything, um, it'll say, hey, we found five, you know, coupon codes. And you'll, you just click to run it, and it'll just run through all the different coupons and see if any of the coupons it finds can match your offer and get you a discount. Again, totally free, totally worth it to have, and I will link it down below. The third tip, I'm going to give you guys is that when you're trying to get around town, if you're on a budget, if you want to do something, um, you want to be able to travel around town without spending an arm and a leg, really just take the deuce bus. Okay. You can get around on the deuce bus. It's six bucks for two hours, eight bucks for 24 hours or 20 bucks for an entire three days. Okay. That's going to be cheaper than Uber, cheaper than a rental car, cheaper than a taxi. You know, if you're going to be here for several days and that way you can hit the strip and downtown, you can do it 24 hours a day. Uh, for most people, the 24-hour pass is probably going to be good enough. But if you're going to be here for the whole weekend, then, you know, that 20 bucks for three days will be great to get you uh, up and down the strip and get you where you need to go while you're here without costing you an arm and a leg. The fourth tip I'm going to give you guys is free entertainment, okay? If you're here on a budget, money's tight, you're going to have to take advantage of the free entertainment that's offered. So that means doing things like, hey, go visit the Las Vegas sign. Lots of people have been to Vegas numerous times, and they've never been to Las Vegas signs. Like, the most iconic thing to do on the strip is go to the Las Vegas sign. You can go there and there's usually a line of people waiting, depending on what time of day, depending on what day of the week it is. But you can just go off to the side, snap your photo, snap a selfie and that kind of thing. And then you just get go there, take your photo and get out. It can be a very, very quick trip. Also, you're gonna take advantage of things like the Bellagio Fountains, right? Another really iconic spot in this strip. The uh, Mirage Volcano, another iconic spot. Go check out those free options for entertainment. They're great, they're fun, don't have to cost you a single penny. And of course, there's always people watching, right? You can do that 
on the strip or downtown there's plenty of places you can just sit there you know grab a spot sit down stand around and just people watch and be plenty entertained here in las vegas now if you want to party and you're on a major and you're on a major budget okay then there's free party you can do so you can either get like on the nightclub guest list at some place if you work with a promoter or something like that but do not give those promoters on the strip cash up front okay if they're going to walk you into the club something like that they're going to cut the line you know, help you cut the line and get in quicker then hey tipping them for that definitely makes sense but don't just give them cash out there on the strip okay there's also a place called carnival carnival court that is um over by like between harrah's and the link and you can go in there it's totally free there's no cover charge they've got live they've got music playing sometimes they have performers um, on stage there they've got a nice big round bar they've got table games so you know they've got enough room for a dance floor when there's no COVID, they'll do free pour. So you can actually sometimes get a free shot or something like that. If you want to do something fun like karaoke, you can do Harris Piano Bar, which is right next to there. So Harris Piano Bar is a place you can go and do karaoke if you're into that kind of thing. If you want to go bar hop, you go bar hop downtown on Fremont Street. You can definitely do that. Whether you're going to like, you know, Atomic Liquor or Commonwealth, you just want to walk up and down Fremont. He said you can catch, you know, um, the Deuce bus to go up to Fremont. And you can, you can bar hop between different places and have all kinds of fun when you're up there. The sixth tip I will give you guys is to visit during the week. Now, I did an entire video on this, okay? If you want to come to Vegas when it's more affordable, but more, but also plenty of things to do, then you want to come during the week. And during the week is almost always cheaper unless there's a big convention. If there's a big convention going on. So in a normal year, like you have Consumer Electronics shows a huge one, SHOT shows a huge one, uh, SEMA, uh, certain construction ones, uh, National Association of Broadcasters, you know, those huge events that are like 50, 60, 80, 100 plus thousand people, those are going to be obviously, you know, the price will be high because of so many people coming to town. But normally during the week is much cheaper. There's still plenty to do. If you want to go clubbing, you can. If you want to go catch shows, you can. Obviously restaurants are open, all that kind of thing. Your wait times will be shorter if you're trying to get a reservation or get a spot at a really good restaurant in town. And, you know, you can really take advantage of that and actually have more flexibility and more time in your schedule if you come during the week. So you can get discounts on things because they're cheaper you can probably get better luck when it comes to doing the 20 dollars trick the front desk getting an upgrade you won't have to spend as much time waiting in line i mean there's all kinds of benefits to coming during the week you know if you enjoy that kind of thing and if you really want to be able to save some money while you're here in las vegas the seventh tip i'll give you guys is about cheap eats okay now great place to go get cheap eats if you just want to grab some snacks in las vegas cvs and walgreens there's i don't know how many different cvs and walgreens locations on the strip um, there's a Walgreens downtown on Fremont Street as well. There's a whole bunch of those you can go. And if you want to grab, you know, protein bars, candy, I mean, just all kinds of stuff, right? Bags of chips, sodas, alcohol, plenty of stuff you can grab over CVS and Walgreens that you can do that, you know, say you don't have to always be sitting down at a restaurant. Ocean Grill at Miracle Mile is a great place to go as well. All of their lunch menu items are $4.99. Everything on that lunch menu at Ocean Grill inside Miracle Mile, Planet Hollywood, is $4.99. Their breakfast and dinner, they do have some cheap meals as well, but the $4.99 for lunch is a great one for during the daytime if you wanna get some cheap food. The eighth tip I will give you guys, if you're here coming to Vegas on a budget, is to get cheap drinks, okay? Now, one thing you can do is buy your drinks and a cooler at Walgreens or CVS. So you can go in there along with getting your snacks. You can go buy a styrofoam cooler, get a bag of ice, get your drinks, mix them in your room, you got ice in your room and you can just open, you know, you can carry the open container on the strip, on Fremont Street, that kind of thing. And you can pregame before you go out to a club or whatever the case is, or you just want to cruise around like that without having to pay, you know, $20, $40, right? For those, you know, yard long drinks and things like that. So that way, you know, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on alcohol when you're here in Las Vegas. Also, more for Ocean Grill at Miracle Mile, they have three for one cocktails for 10 bucks. So $10, you get three for one cocktails over at Ocean Grill at Miracle Mile over at Planet Hollywood. They got some great food deals and some great drink deals over there. So be sure to take advantage of that for your drink deals when you're here in Las Vegas. The ninth tip I'm gonna give you guys is a couple of cash back apps here. These are both free. These are both gonna be linked down below, either in the description or you know top comment uh, on this video. The first one I'll talk about, I mentioned here on the channel before, is actually called Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. So Ibotta is really good for snacks, 
and drinks and things like that. So, um, you know, you can check on there for snacks, check on there for alcohol, particularly at CVS or Walgreens because there's so many of them on the strip. But you can also use it, you know, at Walmart or Target if you want to try those places. If you're going to be off the strip, you can also use it in your daily life at different grocery stores to get cash back on certain grocery items. You get cash back, heck, throughout the entire year and you can save that money up and use it when you come here to Las Vegas. Another app I will tell you guys about that's cool that you can use is called Get Upside. So Get Upside is a cash back app, mostly centers around getting gas, getting cash back for when you gas up. Now the promo offer I got when I signed up was 30 cents per gallon. I got cash back and I actually only ran my tank down like half full. I wish I'd like run it down to empty when I'd gotten all the cash back for it. So again, it's free, it's easy to set up. After that promo offer, I've seen just here in the Las Vegas area, um, per gallon, you get anywhere from like one cent to 12 cents per gallon cash back for that as well. They also do have supermarkets on there, although, although it seems to be limited, at least in the Las Vegas area. But one thing they do have, that's also great with this app, is cash back on restaurants. And the only restaurants I've seen where this works in Las Vegas are on the strip. So you can get uh, anywhere from 15 to 20% back on restaurants, you'll see Eataly on there, you'll see Subway, you'll see Starbucks, you'll see Shake Shack, usually up to $5 increments, or usually up to $5 getting cash back. But nonetheless, you're getting cash back on food you're gonna buy anyway. If you and a group of friends are gonna go eat, I mean, you can work it, you know, depending on how much you guys are eating, uh, you could all get, you know, five bucks cash back, and hey, that's a little more money in your pocket when you're here in Las Vegas that you can use on other things. The tenth and final tip I'll give you guys, and I may have another bonus for you, is that if you're coming here, say during the summertime, um, and you know, even if you're just like one couple here on a trip on your own, you know, and you're waiting in line, say to get into a pool or something like this, I saw a group do this um, recently, where just split a cabana and split a day bed. I've seen, they were strange that did that. It was three couples in line. They all just started chatting with each other. They were all right ahead of me. They just started chatting, you know, probably for 10, 20 minutes while we're waiting to try to get inside the pool. And then one of the husbands went up to the front. He was seeing like, you know, what the holdup was all this kind of thing. And they were like, well, hey, we only have cabanas available right now. So you came back, you know, they, they told him the price and he came back and goes, hey guys, you know, if the six of us all pitching on a cabana, you know, it'll be X amount, we can divide it up. You know, you have drink minimum, food minimum and all the all three couples like, oh right, yeah, let's do it. So they all just like went in together, got their cabana and say, even if you, even if you go in there and you know, you split up once you're inside, hey, you split up, but you got in, you got some drinks, you got some food with your cabana. And you know, what? at least for the day, you made some friends while you're here in Las Vegas. Now, the second bonus I'll give you guys, just because you guys hung around this long and you're awesome, all right? So I do appreciate that. So here's your second bonus. This is something a lot of people overlook. Probably just about everyone overlooks this when they come here to Las Vegas and they land at the airport, they land at McCarran, and you know, they're getting their Uber, or getting their shuttle, or whatever the case is. Stop at the tourism stand. There's a tourism counter over at baggage claim at the airport. Stop over there and you, see, you always go over there and you see there's all kinds of flyers and there's magazines for things to do in Nevada, for like travel Nevada, for Arizona, for the Grand Canyon, Utah, all this stuff in the Southwest. It's just like free pamphlets and flyers. You look at it, you're like, okay, you know, I can look up whatever I want, you know, on my phone. But one of the cool things over there, if you look at that, some of those flyers have free discount codes on them that you get. Just grab the flyer, look at it, and it'll tell you the discount codes. Hey, go book online, use this code, and you get, you know, $5 off, $8 off, you get 20% off. You know, there'll be all kinds of different things. Last time I was there and I came in from a flight, I looked, there was a discount code for escape room. There's a discount code for the mob museum. There's a discount code for a uh, fly link for the high roller. I mean, for free, for nothing. You just walk over there, see the flyer, look at like, oh, well, here's a discount code for all of these different things. And you're getting discounts before you even get to your hotel. You can, see, you can get a discount, save money before you even leave the airport to get to your hotel uh, here in Las Vegas. So guys, those are the tips I gave you. 10 tips plus a bonus, plus a couple bonuses, plus cash back apps, plus all kinds of stuff. That'll be linked down in the description, link in the top comment. Hit the like button if you didn't do so because this video was jam packed with information to help you out when you come here on your Las Vegas vacation. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for being so awesome. I am Jacob and this is my life in Vegas.